Hey. What do you want? It's dark in here. I'll flip a light on and see if it'll help. <laughs> it doesn't help where we're at. Oh. I really should put a light on the bottom side of these beds. Oh, you're gonna lay down now? She was licking me and trying to nibble. I, I say she's biting me, but she's not really, well, I guess technically it's biting. She puts her little teeth on me, trying to get me to do something. I don't know what she wants right now. But we're, we're fixed. We got our load for our, we got back to Missouri. Um, and then we did another quick load up to around Chicago. And that's boatload. We went to Bolingbrook and Gurney. And now we are sitting at one of these little truck stops we really like about an hour, 15 minutes or so from Lebanon. He was just, just staring at me a minute ago. I don't know what his camera is. I just want to participate. Um, waiting for, it's a Friday. We're waiting for our weekend load. I don't know why it is, but sometimes on Fridays, it takes them a long, long time. You know, it's like after afternoon before they put the loads out for the boats on Friday. So we may, I decided instead of going on into Lebanon, we would just stay where we parked last night. We're in Cuba, Missouri at Dottie's for Midwest Truck Travel Plaza. We love this little truck stop. Um, got a good restaurant, good showers, and I mean, I parked here last night at 10 o'clock and was able to find parking. Nice big lot. Not one of those big chain ones, so not everybody goes to it immediately. So we get a better chance of finding parking late. So we're going to just hang out here until they tell us if we have a look what our load is so we don't start our clock. Well, since moving to Lebanon and then ending up burning up all our clocks sitting in the Waffle House in Lebanon. It's a better place to sit anyway. Oh my goodness gracious. Somebody's due to have a toenail clip, I think, because her toenails are getting caught in the bedspread. We asked the vet about her little toenails or her little claws last time she was there because she has some thick ones that don't appear to be shedding properly. And the vet wasn't concerned. She just said, some cats just do that. She said, just continue to clip them. She said, some cats are just not vigorous scratchers. And she's really not. She's got scratching things, and I hear her scratch on them, but I mean, it's like half-hearted scratching. She it's like she scratches because she thinks she's supposed to sort of wants to do it, but she's not a not a big vigorous scratcher, so she doesn't shed her claws the way she should. The vet, like I said, the vet wasn't concerned. She said just keep her trimmed. So, I know she's got a couple of long ones because they're snagging on the bed. We might, might get those the tips of those trimmed off so she quit snagging when she walks. So that's, that's what we're doing. We're yeah, we're just sitting here, aren't we? I'm feeling lazy still. I swear I still just not over my stomach virus. I just I'm eating. I just actually went inside and had some breakfast, a couple eggs and a couple pieces of bacon and a piece of toast. I I'm eating fine. I'm just tired. I'm just not over the sick. Just not over the stomach virus. It really drained me. It was a bad stomach virus. Milo said, and I slept on you and made sure you were okay the whole time. Didn't you? You're such a good girl. Kind of hoping that we get a load that goes, well, we need to continue to go north because our AC isn't working in the, for the APU part. The truck AC works fine. Um, it works okay if the temperature outside is not terribly hot. As long as we have our air chiller and our fans going. Um, 
And if I go north, there's a chance I can go by the house and, and my husband check the Freon level and see if that's what our issue is because it's the, the thing has a brand new AC compressor and expansion valve on it. I don't know why it's not blowing real. It was okay cold air. It's just not cold enough. If we get down in Georgia, it's there's no way it's going to keep up, even overnight. Right now, it's doing okay overnight, as long as the, if the outside temperature drops down into the 70s. So, that's how things are going today. We're waiting to see what we get. You guys have a good day.